lot of the things that I make do look like they're moving really, really rapidly. Um, so I'm kind of looking at that profile line. Um, it's interesting because uh, there's a difference between shapes and forms. <laughs> there's a paradox operating here. Um, this is a form, three-dimensional thing, but really how we perceive it is this this edge, the difference between it and the background. So that profile line is what I play with all the time. And this is in the positive to give you pagodas, but when I have the um, people in between the pots, then I'm just working on the negative. So it's always about that profile line and how we disting distinguish foreground uh, from background. Always interested in uh, in optical illusions. I remember I used to collect them. I had books, I had lenticular photographs. And it's also interesting at that point too, um, I remember before I went to school seeing a TV show of a guy throwing a pot on the wheel. And uh, I saw that and I thought, wow, that's magic. How does that guy do that? I have to learn how to do that. So essentially I've always, I've known from a really young age that I wanted to do this. And you know, I look at people nowadays and they're still trying to figure that out much later on. But I, you know, I had a good 10, 15 years on a lot of people because I, I got obsessed with it really, really early. Think outside the box, right? And a lot of people would say that's what I'm doing, but I would argue I'm doing exactly the opposite. I'm inside this box and I'm really getting into it, right? There's as much room inside there. And I've taken radio symmetry, pottery, history of pottery, all my weird sense of humor, things like that. And I'm investigating things full force with inner space as much as people might want to like jump outside that and do things which is completely valid but there's as much to deal with in there and you can really get into things and you can refine things and you can find little gaps that you can find really interesting stuff to do in so that's kind of where I am I still like to make my things out of clay and have them be this the sort of the center of all of that stuff that's what it's about so it's it's essentially it's that box I'm just really getting into it I've had a long life to do it which is lucky